It's late summer in Wisconsin, and we're going to match the hatch and fish with a crick hopper lure. I got in my kayak and paddled up and downstream in a creek in the hopes of finding five different fish species that were willing to bite. Let's start the adventure. We're starting this trip at a reasonable hour. Phase one of the process involves taking this out. And once I take that out, then I gotta hide the bike, so that's kind of annoying. Now I gotta put that back in here. The kayak is out. We are by the river. It's time to get after it, baby. I've got that, baby. I've been seeing grasshoppers. It's grasshopper season. Oh, there we go. There you go. Yes! Rock bass. First fish of the morning. Yes! Yes, yes. Kind of thought that's what we'd end up catching a lot of, but I'm not sad about it. Yes! All right, rocky bass. I gotta have this handy, because these hooks are small. There we go. Yes! Let's go. All right. Oh, we're going down river. <laughs> Let's turn us around. There we go. Yeah, rock bass. Rock bass. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. I think I'm going to make the executive decision to paddle all the way upstream to where I'm going to start my float down and then go fishing all the way down because whenever I get a fish, I just immediately get pulled down river out of the spot that I want. Plus the action on that crick hopper is better if you cast it downstream and then reel back towards you. So I'm gonna turn around, go upstream until I can't anymore. And then we're gonna start fishing. Did you see that surface action up there? Let's go, come on. Surface action dead ahead. Yeah, about all that. Oh my gosh, this is four pound mono. That's a big bass. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I gotta tighten up a little bit. Dude. Oh my gosh. Get my net ready. Yeah, pull me out, pull me out. That's fine. I'm going to the river. What do you got, big smolly? Yes! 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 Holy cow! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! Oh, oh, you just crushed it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this fish. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Man, I'll give you some water. That's a huge smallmouth. Dude, 
I might have a PV right here. My PV is 20 inches, and I didn't bring a net. Let's get you off the hook. What a stunt. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is huge. Yes. Yes. What a stud. <laughs> what a stud. All right, we're going to get an unofficial measurement on you. Ugly stick to the to the U on the ugly stick. Well, this we caught at the mouth of the creek. <laughs> so, I don't know if it counts as far as a creek fish, but what an absolute stud. <laughs> you got to love it. Oh my goodness. Let's give this guy an underwater release. What just happened? That was amazing. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Yes, Crick Opera, you just actually crushed it. This is what happened. I was saw surface action over there, right? And I cast my Crick Hopper right over there and I, I let it sit for a little bit. I didn't reel right away. I don't know why, I think I was just looking at my line and then it hit while I was on the surface. So I bit it like a grasshopper would just stick on the surface. And then we were fighting. God, I'm glad it went out in the open. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a PC Fun Carbon X 1000. I got four pound mono on it. And then I've got an ugly stick carbon a light rod. This is five foot six inches. This, I just absolutely love this setup. Oh my goodness. This thing catches monsters. What the heck? Ugh, you guys keep missing? Are you missing? Get him. Yeah, you got small mouth. Yeah. Hey, gotcha. All right. Oh, geez. No. Oh, nice. You jumped right into the net. Just a beautiful small mouth. Nice. All right. There we go, we got a bluegill. We're three in now. I knew I'd get one of these guys. What a beautiful fish. Look at that. Blue and it's like an orange in the middle. See the blue on his gill plate? That's why it's bluegill. Just smack that Kirk Hopper. Love it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I had one. There we go. Uh -uh. Oh, rock bass. All right. Uh, got you. There you go, buddy. All around this bend, I saw a lot of fish. And I just floated over it. So, I got out of the kayak. And I'm going to cast a little bit. Nice rocky, yes, nice, look at that, you gotta love it, rock bass right on that crick hopper, nice, yes, here you go buddy. Did I get it? I did. No, I had it. Darn it. There was one. 
There we go, got it. Heck yeah, oh that's a good rock bass. Heck yeah. Nice. It T-boned it. The T-bone. There we go. Love it. Yes. Okay, goodbye, buddy. Yep, that one. Come on, Steve. Here. Oh, cool, smallmouth bass. Come on. Dude, I am having so much problems with line twist. I must have used an inline spinner with this line before I went with this. And it is insane. I'm having problems. Nobody found the bike. Oh, I just gotta get it out of the woods. Now I can ride, ride, ride to the truck. Going. We're not done though. I gotta put my bike away. I look stylish, don't I? Riding in my this. Styling and profiling! Woo! I gotta get back and figure out how big that smallmouth bass was. I was to the U on my new ugly stick. Alright, next up, the measuring stick. There it is. The bike board. This bad boy, how big of a bass did you help me catch today, Mr. Crick Hopper? All right, there's my bump board. All right, we got it. There's that, and it went to the U. There's the U. There's the U. The U. Oh, 19 and a half. It wasn't 20. 